black ice cream and the secret ingredient is activated charcoal but it's super simple to make and it's really good and I think you guys are really going to like it so if you want to see how to make it just keep on watching also please make sure you don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you liked watching it and make sure you hit the bell button when you subscribe to my channel so that you get notified whenever I post a new video and let's go ahead and get into the recipe alright so this is super easy to do you really don't need that many ingredients at all. Um, all the stuff you're going to need is a big bowl like this, a whisk, a metal pan, and then you'll need a can opener for the coconut milk that we're going to be using, two cans of coconut milk, vanilla extract. I'm using this liquid stevia extract, and this is the French vanilla one. And then you need half a cup of sugar, and then you're going to need some activated charcoal. I got this one off Amazon, and you want to make sure that it's the edible kind and a tablespoon measuring thing. And you're also going to need some salt because the recipe calls for a pinch of salt. I'm going to start off by opening up the coconut milk. So I'm just going to dump this in my bowl. And I'm going to do this again with the second jar as well. Okay, and then just dumping this in. Now I'm going to take about a full dropper full of this vanilla. And I'm just going to mix that and then I'm gonna add in the sugar. And then I'm just adding in a bit of salt. And then I'm gonna add in the activated charcoal and um, you can add as much of this as you want really. I'm just doing a tablespoon to start out and depending on how black you want your ice cream to be, you can add more but I'm just gonna start with one tablespoon and see what happens. So I just got this all mixed together and it looks kind of gray to me. It doesn't really look black and I want it to be black. So I'm gonna add at least, I'm gonna start with a half a tablespoon and then I'll add another half if it's still not black. It took me about three tablespoons total to get this color and I'm now going to put it in the pan that I had set aside right here. This one you want to use a metal pan because that's what's going to help it freeze. So I'm literally just pouring it into the pan. So once you put the ice cream in the pan, all you're going to do is stick it in the freezer and let it sit for an hour and then you're going to come back and mix it and just repeat that process until it's completely frozen. And once it's all frozen, I'll come back at the end and show you guys how it turned out and everything. So I will see you guys in a little while once this is ready. Alright, so what I ended up doing with the ice cream was I waited a couple days. I just left it in the freezer because I've just been so busy with life and I just left it in there and I covered it with ceramic wrap so that it wouldn't form ice crystals on top and I just took it out a little bit ago probably 15 minutes ago or so and I'm gonna go downstairs now and serve it up and show you guys what the final product looks like guys I hope you like this video if you did make sure you please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel again I love you all so much and thank you so much for watching bye